Okay, today we're going to do a review of the Concealed Carrier uh, Universal IWB. IWB stands for Inside the Waistband Holster. Okay, give you an idea of uh, the quality and also the uh, usability uh, with several different handguns that we have here. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started. Okay, we'll set these aside. First, we'll do an unpackaging or unboxing. Okay, see what we have here. Um, okay, we've got the holster here itself. Looks like very good quality. Snap. Stitching looks good. The piping looks good. I like the fact that it's double stitched here in the around the stress points. That's excellent. Okay, got some heavy duty stitching. And it's double stitched, double stitched around the belt clip. Okay, that's nice. Clip feels pretty solid. Okay, along with the holster, the package also comes with a mag holder. Okay, with a clip. Again, you've got your double stitching. You also have like a grommet or a, uh, I guess we'll call it like a some sort of a rivet that uh, holds the clip in place as well. Give it a little extra strength. I think that's excellent. Looks like we've got double stitching. No, actually we've got single stitching around piping, but that's okay. There's no stress there. Okay. So, uh, that's fine. You know, for a unit or a set, uh, at this price point, I think, I think that's about as best as you're going to get. Okay. Quality looks pretty good. Overall, doesn't look like there's any extra, any extra pieces or sloppy craftsmanship. There's no, uh, loose threads and things of that nature. Looks pretty good. And so first what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at the, um, the mag holder. Okay, we've got several different types of mags here. Get a mag from a Glock 26. 10 round clip. See how that fits. It's nice. Very nice. Okay, let's also take a look at a uh, clip from uh, Beretta 92. Got a 15 round clip. Of course, you can see I only have seven rounds in there. That's all that's legal in the state of New York. And uh, that fits in there perfectly. It's actually. Uh, I would say like a perfect fit for this length. Comes out, no problem. Not sticky. Very nice. Nicely done. Okay, we've also got a Colt 1911 here. Alright. Some ball ammo in there. See how that fits. Single stack, obviously. 45. Fits. Very well. Fits very well. It's like a perfect length. I think the length is, yeah, of uh, the Glock 26 or the 10 round clip is very, very similar. So single stack as opposed to double stack. Okay. This will work quite well. Kind of, sort of would like on this, especially on this single stack, would like to have like a snap on top of that because it's uh, a little loose. But I mean, you're going to be wearing it on your belt, so the gravity is going to pull pull it down. It's not like you're wearing it sideways like this. So should be should be totally fine. The double stack, it's it's tighter, so 
take the chance that I coming out, you can see that doesn't drop out. Okay. On the double stacks. Double stacks, very difficult to drop out. Okay. Single stack, it's a different story. Okay, so but that that's fine. That's fine. I think it's cool. Alright, so we'll put that back. Alright. So we've shown you three different mags. So the mag holder. Now let's take a look at the actual holster and see how that fits the three firearms from those three magazines that match up with those three magazines. First we'll start with the uh, Glock 26, okay, and that seems to fit. Well, I've got an extended mag release here so it looks like it catches that a little bit but it is brand new so that'll probably um, well, more than likely that'll end up wearing it a little bit so it'll be uh, you know we're breaking in let me see how the snap works snap is snap is great okay uh, it's really in there nicely okay so it's a left hand draw as you can see so you can see that, that that releases nicely. No problem drawing as well. Okay. So with the Glock 26, I'm saying that this is a very good fit. Again, we get extended mag release here, so it does catch on it a little bit going in. Not a big deal. Really? Nice fit. Looks perfect. Very, very nice fit. Glock 26. We'll reholster that here. Set that aside. We'll take a look at the Beretta 92. We'll bring that in. Okay. Beretta 92. It does not fit. The Beretta night with the Beretta 92. Okay, so um, there was an instruction card in here, which, from what I remember, spoke about making an adjustment to the holster for larger firearms. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Okay, yeah, okay, so. If your firearm does not fit, typically only uh, applies to some SIG and Beretta models, look at that, Beretta models, uh, then you can cut a couple of sections with a knife to open it up. Okay, so this is great because it gives you the description and everything here how to do it. All right, so that Beretta is ultimately going to fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that aside for now, though, and we're going to take a look at the um, the 1911 to see if that fits without making any alterations to the actual holster. All right, so we'll take our 1911. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So the 1911. Fits perfectly with no alterations. It's a five inch barrel. So it hangs out a little bit, which is fine. It looks good. I like it. It's a good fit. Again, it's a left hand draw. So we're going to be able to pull that out. No problem. Looks great. Alright, so getting back to the Beretta 92, um, we're going to make a cut as per these instructions that came with the kit. And we're going to make a cut right along the bottom here where there's extra stitching. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to use a, uh, a uh, razor knife. Just cut a couple of the threads here. We're going to cut it back. Now it makes sense that they've got these heavy duty stitch points. 
because what we'll do is, I'm sure that was uh, by design, we're going to cut it back to that, that heavy stitch point, okay? And that's it. It's like we cut, basically cut like I'd say three stitches, okay? So and you don't have to worry about this coming apart because we've got this heavy duty, um, hopefully you can see that on, uh, on tape. We've but got a good close to a quarter inch of heavy duty stitching. Let's just let's check that with a uh, with a uh, digital caliper. We've got yeah ten ten and a half about ten millimeters ten millimeters of stitching. Okay, heavy duty stitching. Let's convert that to inches. So point four. So uh, four tenths of an inch. That's that's excellent. So we're not going to have any issue with this, you know, coming apart or unraveling. All right, so let's now try the Beretta 92 in there. Okay. Let's see how that works out now. Hmm. Very, very tight still. It's, uh, it's hitting on the trigger area. Okay, so, all right. Let's take that back down, and uh, we can, as per the instructions, we can cut that area as well. So we're going to cut that area down to the major stitch point. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. This is slower than normal because of the fact I'm trying to get it on film obviously all right so we've got that down to the stitch point the major stitch point there and you can trim off this excess thread here that's what i would recommend you do anyway okay so again we're at the stitch point here which opened the mouth of that holster up a bit all right, so let's give it a try now it should fit okay so it slides it fits perfectly now let's bring the snap around Oh yeah, perfect fit. Now we know why it's called a universal holster, okay? Because it can be also modified to fit larger handguns or handguns that have a taller uh, midsection where the trigger guard is or a taller barrel, okay, with the body, All right? So it's a nice fit now, okay? So again, it's a left-hand draw, and we're going to be able to draw that right out. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, very happy with that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a couple of smaller handguns um, and a fresh, uncut holster. See if uh, see if this is universal enough to fit smaller, uh, smaller handguns or micro handguns as well. Um, so we're going to bring in a we're going to bring in a Bobcat, bred a Bobcat. Okay, 22LR. And we'll see what we got here. Okay. So. That will fill it, fit a Bobcat. That'll fit a Bobcat no problem. Okay. So. There you go. You got a Bobcat in there. Alright. So it fits a Bobcat. I don't know about the magazine. Let's take a look at the magazine. This one's not loaded. Magazine's pretty small. I mean, the magazine fits in there, but actually goes, you know, way down in there. You know, it'd be difficult to get out. So I wouldn't really recommend using this with, uh, with uh, this size. Okay, we'll set that aside. Put this back together. Set the Beretta Bobcat aside, and we'll bring in a Beretta Pico. Got this in my uh, Bolivian crocodile hide holster. Beautiful holster. Okay. So I got my Beretta Pico 380. Okay. Drop the mag on that. Make sure that that is uh, empty. This one's a little hard to rack, but uh, you get used to it. Got to have a pretty good grip. But uh, so that's empty. All right. So let's see how that looks. Alright, so Pico, 
perfect for a Pico as well. So we got some micro autos here. Uh, what a difference between, you know, say the Colt, which is probably with the Beretta. Beretta's pretty much well. They're about the same size. The difference between a Beretta 92 and a Beretta Pico, but this holster works with both of them, okay, so it's uh, excellent value in that respect, okay, let's drop the mag again and see if the, uh, the mag holder uh, works with this this small clip, it probably is going to be the same situation as the 22 it is, because it's just short, you know, I mean, you can use it, I wouldn't recommend it, but you're not going to be able to get to it, okay, in an emergency situation, so, um, but, uh, but it does fit. All right, so that's uh, that's the Beretta Pico. All right, what we're going to do before we close this out is we're going to take a look at one more firearm. We're going to take a look at a uh, Gen 4 Glock 17, and uh, we'll see if this universal holster fits this firearm as well. And as I suspected, it it, it does. It fits it nicely. This has got a back strap on it, too. Fits universally well. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent. For, I mean, you can pretty much use this with all your firearms. I mean, uh, I suspect it would work okay with, uh, with um, revolvers, in a sense, you know, but I'm not going to test that because it's not really suited, suited for it, you know. But as far as automatics, uh, very good fit. Wide spectrum of automatics this works with. From a, uh, a Glock, full size Glock, to full size Colt, Berettas, to micro guns, micro Berettas, and I'm sure it would work with uh, you know your TCPs and and other small firearms. So uh, very very good value with the concealed carrier uh, combo package. Um, universal IWB holster. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully this uh, video was helpful. If it was, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we expect to continue to be pumping out new videos uh, weekly, daily, in, in a lot of cases. So uh, don't miss out and uh, and see them all. All right. Again, thank you and. Uh, have a great day.